So initially I was going to do a longer catch-up video going through the entire year so far, but then I thought I would make it a little easier on myself and for a couple other reasons split it into the months and do like five separate videos even if one ends up being quite short. I'd rather do it that way uh, for, yeah, a couple of reasons. I'll, I'll just say this right now. Um, in April, my eye bled. And ever since then, I've been trying to break up screen time a lot more and not look at, just not look at screens as much, I guess, which is hard to do considering computer, TV, phone, but if I'm doing it, I'm breaking it up as much as I can, which means that I'm definitely going to need to change the way that I edit my videos. So that's kind of the main reason why I'm going to do five separate videos going through the year so far. I have this piece of paper here where I have a bunch of things written down. It's just an overview, but I do have specific titles of things that I'm going to mention pertaining to what I've been watching and what I've been reading. What I've been listening to, you already know, it's K-pop. Um, I don't think I... K-pop. Yes. <laughs> um, yeah, so what I've been watching, what I've been reading. I swear something has happened like every month so far that has derailed my reading. Obviously in April it was the eye bleeding situation, which I'll get to in the April video. So I think just a couple more things in terms of introducing this like short series in a way if that's what you want to call it. At the very end I will shout out some YouTubers that I've been watching or listening to their videos. Uh, so just to have that all in one place since I've been like consistently watching stuff for the last you know handful of months or whatever maybe there's certain YouTubers that I've been watching more of that's all going to be in the last video. And then also, after I do these catch-up videos, I'm going to make an announcement video where you can get involved in a way. <laughs> Basically, it's just like uh, I have plans for the summer of reading certain books and then watching their adaptations. And if you want to join along and also read those books and or watch the movies, none of it's necessary. You can read one book and not do anything else. You can watch all the movies and not read any of the books. It doesn't really matter. All of it will be explained in the sort of announcement video. I just thought I would do something that can sort of um, be a, a community thing in a way um, and involve people who watch my videos and who are interested in the same books and movies that I'm interested in. So I think that's it. Uh, this is the January video. Uh, this is the angle we're going with. Oh wait, I also, <laughs> this like doesn't really have to do with anything in terms of these videos, but today I talked to my dad <laughs> um, because I didn't know if it would be like stupid to do this, but I'm redoing the other room, my computer TV room. I'm redoing it. The, the, the green walls, <laughs> those are going, but like, um, our lease was like supposed to be up later this year and now it's extended through the end of next summer so i didn't know if it would be like dumb to redo stuff even though we're still going to be here for like another year and a half or so um less than that technically we may or may not be moving but that's when like our lease is up and so i didn't know if it would be dumb to like redo that room which is why i was like i talked to my dad <laughs> Uh, so yeah, I talked to my dad and he said we can do it. Isn't that fantastic? I have a vision, okay? But that'll be a whole other scenario and then, and then because I'll put more shelving in that room, then I will do shelf tours. Okay, um, so that's very exciting. There's not that much here for January, so um, this is me just elongating this video a little bit more, I guess. Here we go. Um, I mostly don't have a lot of things to show you. Um, book stuff is not going to be like reviews necessarily. I will talk about books a little bit, but not necessarily like in-depth reviews or anything like that. Um, same for the movies. So earlier this year, January, I was like so in the reading mood and it just did not happen. Like reading, it happened, but not in the way that I wanted it to. I should have 
just gone with my instinct and with what I was in the mood for and read all these short books that I was thinking about reading at the time. But before the year even started, I told myself that I was only going to read The Witching Hour, which my book is actually, or my book, my um, phone is actually setting on right now. Uh, it is my sort of tripod <laughs> for right now on my, on my dresser. Um, just to get a little bit more of a lift. It's 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 this thick. It's like a thousand pages and I told myself, yeah, The Witching Hour by Anne Rice. This is the only book, that's the first book that I'm going to be reading this year. The only book until I finish it, essentially, is what I told myself. And that was a bad idea because there's so much to this book and I also wanted to read other books at the same time so I feel like it wasn't like fully satisfying my reading like what I wanted to read even though I was really into it I still think it's going to be five out of five stars even though I have not finished it yet still um obviously <laughs> I've taken a break from it I'm like 400 pages into it again it's close to a thousand pages so I'm not even halfway done but um I have like a notebook over here where I have like the family tree <laughs> of the witches because there were so many names and then of course I, I wanted to like figure out like any pertinent information essentially that helped me to identify the characters especially because I didn't want to look anything up because I don't want to encounter overall Mayfair Witches trilogy or overall Vampire Chronicles spoilers so any information that can help me to identify each character and just certain details it's in a notebook <laughs> and I have a lot of annotations um in the book so far lots of underlining lots of brackets that's what I do a lot I put like brackets around um paragraphs and I'm still within that sort of section if you're familiar with the way that the book is laid out I'm still in that section of Michael reading the file on the Mayfair Witches. So I haven't even like fully finished the Mayfair Witches history <laughs> yet. That that was all that was happening for basically January and February for reading. I was listening to the audiobook at the same time that I was physically reading the book, which is not ideal for fully reading the book because then I'm not taking advantage of times when I could just be listening to the audiobook, but that's the way that I want to do it because of the annotating and the information and just being able to like read the words along with listening to it. It's just what I want to do. So uh, that's all the reading <laughs> for January. And then I wasn't even really watching movies because I was more so in the reading mood and I watched like a handful of movies, namely Decision to Leave. Um, you may remember in January that I made a like give me your movie recommendations sort of video which by the way has like two or three dislikes which I don't understand like I guess maybe if you were like annoyed with me in the way that I was expressing a few things in that video but like it was basically me asking for recommendations on movies what could you dislike <laughs> what could you dislike about that video I started a 90 day free trial of Mubi in January because my brother really wanted to watch Decision to Leave and Mubi is definitely the kind of service that I would have as opposed to him. So we used my email address and like the, the three things that I feel like maybe someone could have had an issue with was I was not in the mood to watch movies and we started this free trial at like the worst time. Because I didn't feel like watching movies, so like how could I take advantage of the free trial if I didn't feel like watching movies? And I didn't want to force myself to watch something because then I probably wouldn't like it as much. I just don't want to risk that necessarily and not being like fully engaged into something that could be spectacular, possibly a new favorite, like who knows? Uh, we should have used my brother's email address for this reason. Um, and also just to get the most out of movie without, <laughs> without actually getting... A paid subscription for it or to it so that he could do the 90 day 90 days for free and then cancel it when he wanted to and then I could still get a 90 day free trial whenever I whenever it was the right time to get movie um, and then I also mentioned how 
I prefer the Criterion channel over movie in terms of just what, just looking at each service. My taste, I feel like, and my interest, especially in the moment, especially right now, I'm telling you, um, definitely aligns more with what is on the Criterion channel compared to movie. And that's just where I'm at right now in terms of my interests. And so maybe any of those three things annoyed people. In any case, I did 90 days for free of movie and only watched Decision to Leave, <laughs> which was all right. Oh yeah, maybe that's the other thing someone didn't like. They're like, what? You and your brother didn't like Decision to Leave? Dislike your video. <laughs> and that was kind of it. Any watching that I was doing was mostly YouTube. I was watching a lot of YouTube. Yeah, it was January, so I love the end of the year videos. Um, you know, people's favorites from the pre pre previous year, what their goals are and plans are for the new year, and of course I was making my own videos for all of January, February, and March, because I think that's when my last video was posted, was like the beginning of March if I'm not mistaken. Uh, just making, filming and editing those videos took it out of me, first of all, but then also it was so much time that really a lot of my free time was going towards video making. So that's the other reason why I wasn't watching movies per se or getting as much reading done. And then the only other thing that I have to mention for January is that for my movie marathon that I have every month uh, with my group of friends, we watched The Double Life of Veronique. Uh, sorry, if I move, my the lamp is like right behind me, so I don't know how I... there... all you're seeing is the reflection of my phone. <laughs> Okay, cool. Well, anyway, maybe I'll just put the poster up. Um, the Double Life of Veronique from 1991. I have the Criterion release. Beautiful film. We watched this in the movie marathon. I don't, I had already seen it before, but it definitely, I feel like I liked it even more this time around. Something about Kieslowski's style is like ethereal, but still like grounded, if that makes sense. That's what I feel. Mm hmm. Very good movie. I highly recommend it. Okay. Um, and that's it. <laughs> that's it for January. So I'm just gonna continue recording these until I'm done, I guess. So thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the rest of the videos. Hopefully it won't take me too long to put these up, but again, I'm being careful with my eye as best I can. Yeah, that's this video. January. It I cannot believe we're about to be in June, okay? Anyway, stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. <laughs>